here we are now with another product walk around. We're on to our, one of our bread and butter products here, the NC Slurry Pump. So behind me here now at the moment we have a, the Super 3000 SU, the stand-up, and a Super 3000, as we call it, a lie-down. The main difference is between these two pumps, their performance is exactly the same. It's the Super 3000 stands for 3,000 gallons per minute, which equivalents to about 13,500 litres per minute. The performance of the two pumps is the same. The main difference is this pump attaches to your two-point linkage. You disconnect your shaft, you drop it into your tank, you mix your tank, you take a shaft off, you take it out. Where the SU version is on the three-point linkage. So you hook it on your three-point linkage, you connect up your PTO shaft onto your tractor and you can move from tank to tank without disconnecting anything. So these, these are a popular pump. So again, it's your usual 540 speed on your, uh, your gearbox. It's a Rogelberg gearbox. Uh, you have your blanked off here for where your top fill valve will go on for pumping slurry from tank to tank for filling with a top fill pipe. You have your deflector arm control. You have your rotation for your, your spout. And then you have your changeover lever here for mix to fill. So changing the pump from mixing through your spout to changing the top fill if you have a valve on the top. So horsepower wise on your Super 3000 pump, you're in around that 70 horsepower tractor. Standard pumps are from six foot six to 10 foot. We have done specials in the past from a four foot six version of these to a 20 foot static version. So there's a lot of different options, but if you're moving it from tank to tank, the lift arms on it, hook it on your tractor, move it from tank to tank, but they also come as a, a static version. So you just statically fix them in the tank. As I say, this is the lay down version, the same performance, 3,000 gallons per minute uh, slurry, or 13,500 litres, PTO shaft 540, hooks onto your two point linkage, so you put your bar in the back of your tractor, you reverse in, lift it up, it clicks in, your arm rests rest against the underside of your arms, and off you go. Hydraulically controlled for depth, so you put it in your tank, as you slide it out, it goes over centre and it tips up vertically and drops down into your tank, and then you can adjust the height of the pump up and down on your cylinder in the centre here for the, de the depth of the tank. The difference in the two of them is you can move this pump between tanks with a PTO shaft on, but you have to be very careful. Whereas the SU version, the shaft stays on the tractor because it's on the three-point linkage. The benefit or the difference, there's a lot more distance, a travel distance for depths of tanks with the lay-down version as opposed to the, the SU version. You see in the SU version, the safety frame has the five holes up the side that you can vary the, the depth of the grate, the safety grate that sits on the top of your safety slot. Where on the, the lay-down version, your safety slot sits over here, but you have much larger travel on your hydraulic cylinder for lifting the pump up and down depending on the depth of your tank. Moving on, yes, sorry, moving on. We'll move on to the 3800 pump. So this is a much bigger animal in the grand scheme of things. Again, back to the two-point linkage version. Well, this is a stand-up version as well. You can, when you hook this on, you can lift the pump up, bring it up on the, the center ram, and then there's a, a locking mechanism here, which you swing around, and it'll come into that stand-up version. So it locks it into a stand-up version. You put your feet down so you can hook it on and off. So it's a mixture of both. It doesn't work over center. So in this version, with the weight of this uh, pump, we have the hydraulic cylinders for maneuvering the pump when you're tipping it down into the tank. Down to the tank, PTU shaft on, again, 540, 3,800 pump, 3,800 gallons per minute, or about 17,100 litres per minute. Again, all the same things, length off point on the top for your top fill valve, five or six inch. Your change over mix fill, you change that over mix fill for your, your valve at the bottom for changing it over. Your handle for rotating around your nozzle for changing the direction, again, to fill, you change this to a top fill valve. It can be a bend for pumping between tanks, lay flat. It can be a top fill pipe for filling into a tanker, top fill tanker, or a, a tanker with a hydraulic top fill hatch. Two locking positions on your rotation for rotating the pump around to lock it in position for safety. And then your adjustable, your nozzle for adjusting the, the nozzle. So you adjust that down for breaking up big clumps or crust on top of your tank. Yeah, it can be supplied with the top fill. There's six inch valves, and then you'll get like a a male, female, five inch or six inch coupling onto that, depending on what, what you want to attach. There's the option of hydraulic rotation and a hydraulic nozzle. When it comes, it can be done on all the pumps. So you have the option of a hydraulic version. These are manual, you have to get out of the, out of the cab to change these over. So most cases, 
you throttle the tractor down, knock out a PTO, you get out, move your, your nozzle about, and then back into the cab and throttle her up again. Just by chance, there's one of the pumps in the yard here, it's a 3800 with the, the hydraulic operation on it. So this one is a chest mounted hydraulic system, so you have your two levers here on the side of the pump. So as you can see, your rotation is done by a motor, so you pull your lever to go one direction, pull the lever the other way. The second lever then is for your spout, so you have your hydraulic cylinder on your spout for moving your spout up and down. So just for ease of turning, so you can throttle the tractor down a wee bit and the hydraulics will move it round because under full power you'll never move it manually. So that's, that's one of the options. The other option is in cab controls where the hoses come into the cab to you and then you just work them from the spool bank. But it's in the yard, just thought I would show you that that's an option that's available on them. So the 3800, you're in the round that sort of 100, 120 horsepower tractor. This is a very, very popular pump for us. This is a very, very popular pump. It used to be horsepower was a problem, but of late everyone has 150 plus, maybe 200 horse plus tractor now. So horsepower is not, not the same issue as it used to be. Then you're into the, what we call the contractor's pump, but again, it was a contractor's pump for them mixing tanks for putting slurry out, but more and more farmers are moving to this as well. So this is the 4800 pump, bigger bottom on it, uh, it takes more horse to drive, so it's 4800 gallons per minute, as it says. Again, same principle as the 3800, but it's bigger. This is 150 horse tractor will struggle on this, this pump, depending on how thick your slurry is. One other difference in this, this is a much heavier gearbox, and this is rated for uh, a thousand shaft. So on your, your standard pumps down there, they're on a, a five inch main pipe. But when you get into the 38 and the 48, you're in the six inch, a six inch main pipe on it. You can get this through a safety slot. Because of the bigger bottom on it, it's increasingly difficult. It is hard to get in and out of a standard safety slot just because of the sheer size of it. It can be done, and it is done. Sizes on the, on the 3800 and the 4800, it's six foot six, seven foot six, uh, eight foot, nine foot. Uh, because when you go any bigger than that, you have problems with the, ge the geometry on the back of the tractor and uh, they're prone to taking back windows out of tractors. Again, same principles as always. You can have the hydraulic rotation on your nozzle. You can have the hydraulic angling on your nozzle as well. Your mix fill again for mixing the tank. Bolt on your valve, change it over and you can pump to tanks, you can pump between tanks, you can pump to your tankers. Normally, they would be in stock, we have them in stock all year round. The line that makes slurry pumps never stops. I have, in 25 years, I don't think that line has ever stopped. It may go down to three men on it, but predominantly, it just keeps going. We just keep knocking them out. And at times, we can have 100 pumps in the yard. At the minute, we've about 30, and they're all sold to be shipped out to customers, because this is the busy time. People pumping tanks, people mixing tanks, getting slurry out on the ground. 